Hey guys, I'm Daniel Blodgett from the Tutorial Brothers, and you may have seen my tutorial last week where I showed you how to change um, the icons of some of your applications using uh, Candy Bar. Um, but if you don't want to download any programs to do this, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, without using any programs. So, um, either you can go to on the internet and find some icons you like, uh, or you can go uh, design it yourself, like we did last in the last tutorial. Um, if you're gonna get it from the internet, we're just gonna do that today. I want this to go fast and easy. A uh, good website is 365icon.com. Uh, all the links I mentioned are in the description. So um, I'm gonna change my Skype icon today. So I'm just gonna go to icons. Um, actually, I'm going to go to icons, and I'm going to go to dock icons. And he's got a ton of icons on here. Um, so here are the Skype ones. Uh, this pack comes with six, and all of these icons are free to download, so just push download, and it'll start downloading. Uh, so it may take some time to download. Um... Uh, okay, it's going pretty fast. If it was going to be long, I would have just cut it out, but you guys can be patient for a little bit. Um, while we wait, please go friend us on Facebook. We do a ton, a ton of stuff on there, um, including a lot of polls. So we really, really are striving to do exactly what you guys want. So go on Facebook and friend us and answer our polls. So when you download this Skype.rezip, uh, it'll unzip actually, I guess. Um, so when you open it up, it comes with these. You just go to icons, and there's six icons. So let's just uh, push Command A and open them up to pick which one we want. It's number one he did. Two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. It's a pretty difficult choice. I think I'll go with the last one. So I'm going to go with number four, I think. Yep, I'm going with number four. So when you pick the one you want, you're going to select it and either push Command C or go uh, Edit, Copy, Copy. And then you're going to exit that, go to Finder, go to Applications, and find your Skype application. Now, just tap it once, don't open it. Either push Command I or get Edit, um, I mean, right click it, not Edit. Either push Command I or right click it and push Get Info. So, um, here, uh, you can see at the bottom, it says whatever your username is, apparently mine's Spidey Films, it'll say me next to it. Um, go to the right, and if it says read only, then you have to um, push that unlock button and put in the admin uh, admin password and change this to read and write. Um, reading is only where you can view stuff, read and write is where you can also change it. So once that is read and write, Select this logo at the top left until it's got that um, blue line around it. And then push File, I mean Edit, Paste, or Command V. And it changes. So that's pretty easy. Um, to it didn't, As you notice, it didn't change in the dock. Um, so either you have to restart your computer or just uh, remove this from the dock and redrag it. So it's pretty easy. Um, I think it's the easiest way, but using Candy Bar is a little more, you can control everything better. This, it's hard to get it back to the original logo. With Candy Bar, you can just say reset. So preferably, I use Candy Bar, but this is the really easy way, um, and it works. So that was it for today. Um, I just did wanted to do a short little tutorial, but I hope it was helpful. 
And that is it, guys. God bless.